Hi, this is Laura from Starling Travel and today I'm going to show you how to set up a Traveler 5 Spring Bar Tent. We're here at Three Dreamers RV Park in Arizona and they've given us a tent site here. So we're going to set up our tent in the right next to the rec center. Now this, this tent is not for backpacking by any stretch of the imagination um, because it's very, very large and it's actually kind of difficult to carry. So you definitely need to use, use it when you go car camping. Um, I asked Gerald, the guy who checked us in, which way the wind blows. And he says the wind blows from this direction. And we don't want to lose too much of heat, too much of the heat from our tent because it's winter right now, so it's a little chilly. So we're going to face our door para, per perpendicular to that so that the wind doesn't get into our tent if it does get windy. Right now there's no wind at all, so it's not a big deal. But. The beauty of having a big tent like this is that you're able to really have comfortable, you can really be comfortable when you're all set up at night in your tent. The door is on this side, so I'm putting it perpendicular to the wind. Now if we were at a tent site with other tents, and we wanted to kind of show that we're friendly folk, we'd probably want to turn our tent toward those people, turn the door toward the people. But the only other people here are in, in uh, RVs. What I'm going to do right now is um, stake down the tent. That's the first thing you have to do with the spring bar tent because they um, you can't get it up unless you stake it down. So, <laughs> um, this is the thing that takes the longest, and so I'll probably fast forward this video because you don't want to watch me pounding in stakes the whole time, but I wanted to give you a realistic um, show of what it's like to put up one of these tents. Now you do the corners first. we're going to be pretty lucky because it doesn't feel like there are a bunch of rocks. At least I didn't hit a rock on that one. So you go to opposite corners, pull it kind of tight, and stake it in. And just a note, Stanley makes this hammer, and it's pretty awesome. It looks kind of beat up. But the head is a lot larger than a normal hammer. If you look, this is a normal size hammer. And this is the Stanley hammer here. It's a lot bigger. Makes hitting the stakes in a lot easier. So we've been pretty happy with that. We got that this last summer. Now that we've got the four corners down, there are three on each side that we need to pound in. What I usually do is the middle one from each side and then the two sides, two, the other two. It's hard ground, but there's no big rocks in it. A lot of times when we're doing a tent in some places, there are huge rocks you from getting your tent pegs all the way in. But this is a great place. I'm going to avoid these because these are for my doors. I'm going to move on over to here. These tent pegs have been the best that we've ever had. We have no idea where we found them. We thought we got them at Kirkham's in Salt Lake City, but Kirkham's didn't have them. 
Then we thought we got them at REI. No, REI didn't have them. We have no idea where we got these tent pegs and we wish we could buy more, but. That was the hardest tent peg. Hmm. I think I must have hit a rock or something. No. I think it connects with this. So complicated. There we go. So we want to tuck this a little bit under. And then we'll put the post through both that and this on that side. it through the doormat and then also through the thing that holds down the tent. That's how we're putting that in. That was kind of hard for us to get the first time we put this up. And every time we put it up ever since, it's like, oh, I can't remember. I remember it being hard <laughs> when really it's not that hard. We just didn't figure it out the first time. piece of cake. So, first thing is these are the these are the spring bar parts. So we're going to stick those. We have these sleeves right here. So we stick these into the sleeves on each side. nubbin on this thing and have the one without a nubbin on the middle. Then you're going to connect it to this T-bar here. And you want to put those bars through this hole all the way until they meet in the middle of the T. So if you look, that's what I'm doing. That goes all the way in. Come on closer so you can see. See, this one is all the way in until it hits that side. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Put that all the way in until they hit the side. So see, both of them are all the way through now. You see that? Right in there. Okay, let's do the other side the same way. So we need one T-bar and two of these spring bars. I did this I was so bothered by walking on top of the tent because the habitat from REI that we had man if we walked on the top of that thing we would have got holes in it we would have damaged that thing but this thing can take it so as you can see there are many footprints on this tent because we've walked all over the top of it and it's just fine 
not a big deal. Okay, and I'm doing the same thing. I'm putting those into the T-bar. Okay, those are all the way in. Now that I've got those all the way in, I'm going to put these two together. So you kind of, there's a roundy bit, there's a roundy bit right here that will fit into this concave bit here. So you just slowly push them down and then pull this sleeve over. Don't pinch your hand like I just did. Just pull the sleeve over until it's about halfway between. You don't need to secure it. And that has got a good taunt roof. There. Now we take these longer poles and you do them once at a time. But first you pull it up. There should be a little thing that will spring into place somewhere here. You can try it on the lowest one. See how that works. Okay. So, especially when you're all by yourself and having a heck of a time getting it up, put the pin on the lowest one first to get it up. So that the pole is as short as it can be. I'm short like I am, I'm only five foot two. It's kind of hard. So I'm not really going to be struggling with this. There's a nub in here. Put that in the hole on the T junction. See, there's a hole here and an oven. Put that in there. Sometimes it pops out and then I have to put it back in. <laughs> you okay? Okay. Right there. A little more. Okay. Can you get what it looks like right there? So you kind of put it right where the ring is and it holds it really good there. Now, the next thing is the awning. We're almost done. So, for the awning, we need two of these. We also need two of the ropes that Stringham, uh, Kirkham's gives you. Stringham. Kirkham's gives you these. And these two. These have a similar adjustment. Yeah. Problem is, is getting them to... There. So I'm going to try... Which do you, The lowest, or do you think... Somewhere in the middle. I don't think it matters. I'm going to put them one, two, three, four from the top. See if that works, and if not, we'll change it. There it is. Okay. Four from the top on both of those. Okay. The first... Then there's this ropey doodle. Put the ropey doodle on. I'm sure there's a technical name for the ropey doodle, but I don't know what it is. That would be a loop. Loop. Mighty smart. And you 
you want to pull it out pretty top. I only made that work last time by driving them in really sideways. And you probably just bend it so that's not important. <laughs> okay, that's kind of working. Okay, that's not very sturdy. That's why there's another one. Another one that probably has to be we did this one we did it with uh, we forgot our Kirkham's things that come with these little bones here and so we did them with just rope that we had so you don't need these fancy Kirkham where I hit my head yeah right about there here yep do you think that's a little animal den right there I have no idea Better. Ha ha. Much better. This is straight. Straight. How's that? Looks good. Look good? Yay! How long did it take? Uh, at least 29 minutes. There was a gap in there for a minute or so, two. So, probably about half hour to get the tent <laughs> up. But one person can do it. And if you have a friend, who can help you? It's a way faster because the longest, the thing that takes the longest is pounding in all those those stakes. So that is the Spring, Spring Bar, Bar Traveler, Traveler 5. 5 tent. Cool. Thanks. And this is Laura from Starling Travel. <laughs> all right. <Thanks. laughs>